Hey you too, and welcome to a new Unity 3D LAN tutorial. So we're going to carry on from last time, where we looked at height maps and made this map. And we're going to extend our map and make it quite cool, hopefully. So eventually we will add something newer to it and make it better and everything. But for now, we're just going to create a couple of mini islands just in one scene. And then if you ever want to go to a different like country in your game, we'll make, I'll show you how to load levels between that. But this is what we're going to do. So first thing I'm going to do is actually improve this water here, um, just just a little bit, just to save a little bit of processing power. But then after that, all we're going to do is make a new land, paint it a little bit and make it cool. So first thing we're going to do is actually delete this water, just like that. And so we've got just a blue decking thing there, you don't need to worry about that. I'm also going to go in and get rid of the invisible walls, because I don't want them there. Because since we keep expanding, there's no really real need. And then what I'm going to do is go up and create an empty plane, just like this. And I'm going to set this plane, plane's width, to 2000 by 2000. Just like that. So we have a huge plane, as you can see. Absolutely massive. And then what we're going to do is bring it down, just so it just barely hides that blue. I apologise for that, my alarm is going off. But yeah, so, oops, wrong one. Just there, that'll do. And then we just texture it blue. Water. Where are you? Uh, water. Boom. Uh, it's a bit. We'll try 200. That's better. So now we have a huge terrain. Water. It's not infinite, but you'll be swimming for quite a while. We can definitely say that. So, what I'm going to do is now. Click it and actually call it water. Cause it needs to water. And that. And we're going to make it a trigger just so we can fall through it. We will eventually have to put something beneath it saying, like, you can't go any further, ETC, or it kills you or something. But we will eventually. So, uh, what we're going to do now is make the new terrain. So, I figured we could either paint it or we could get a hype off for internet. So, what we're going to do is create a brand new terrain. So, terrain, create terrain, just like that. And we'll cut, set the size of this one, not so big, just to around 800 by 800. So we have a roughly kind of gun. So it'll be definitely be bigger than our last one, but hopefully not too bad. And then what we can do is first hide this water because that really hurts you. Like that, there we go. And then we can drag this, and I'm roughly just going to put it just pretty much next to it like so and drag it down so it's roughly the same level so we can come in and if we look at this terrain height map here the terrain and we get the height of it by clicking the paint height holding shift and clicking the water we can see it's all zero so it's all good so that means we can set the y-axis the exact same for our terrain just like that so then that will be perfect we can move ours up more so we're really close. And then all what's left is to raise our terrain so it matches the little bit there. And then we can just come straight across. So now that we have that, um, it would be a good idea that we start leveling up and everything. But it'd take too long. So we're going to create it in Photoshop. And you can use whatever you like. I'll show you. I showed you this a while ago. We're going to do a quick one. But we're actually going to create it ourselves this time. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to literally paint it just something basic. Just so it doesn't look as bad. So I'm just going to select the grass again. Yeah. And what I was doing um, yesterday as well was I was experimenting with terrains in 3ds Max. So it's really, really good to play with in that. And you can get some pretty nice results quicker than Unity. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to actually raise a little bit of it up. So I'm going to set this to 14. And I'm going to raise this side up here. And you'll not understand why I'm raising it. But... The reason I'm actually doing it is because then we've now got an indication to which bit's supposed to be level in Photoshop. Because it flips it so you never know. So if we just put one here as well, we can tell that it's supposed to be pointing down. So if it's backwards, we can flip it and flip it back. So I'm going to go export terrain, mark yes, put it there. And we'll call this city terrain. Make it a raw file. So we'll go back to Photoshop. And we'll drag city terrain in and click OK. 
So, we're in Photoshop, and as you can see, it definitely has flipped it up. It's kind of dark, I really, really do hope you can see that. But it's right there, you can see the little L shape, but it's completely vertically, vertically flipped. So I'm going to go edit, and, okay, I'll actually select it first. Edit, transform, vertical. So now we've got exactly our terrain looking at it on top. So I'm going to grab the brush tool and I'm going to get the colour of this one, holding Alt. If, you've used, if you're not using Photoshop, you can actually skip this a little bit. But then if I paint next to it, you can see it's all level. But what I am going to do is put the fade hardness down a bit. So then it fades out like that and then we have a smooth terrain and it's not all jagged really bad. So, most of this we want to be 14, don't we? Because otherwise... Um, we won't have a land, it'll be all in water. That's not what we want. So I'm going to come up and I'm just going to literally create a small box. But I want a bridge first. So we'll come around here, up here, and there's our bridge. So I really, really hope you can see this. There. And I'll paint all this. Just like that. And then we can come into this little bit here which looks not very good and we can get rid of it using the black one to hide it oh dear that's not black and because we've still on the smooth tool it'll make it smooth so it doesn't look wrong perfect so now we have a bridge with a successful road that's good enough we need to add some kind of hills to it so I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna select this grey property here I'm just gonna lighten it a little bit and I'm just gonna randomly make my brush big and then come up here and select one of these scatter brushes just so we get like a scatter hill effect so then it's not all going to be perfectly level but some places are going to be level kind of thing so that's going to all I'm going to do very very basic and I'm going to save it as a raw file save yes okay so that saved it let's go back to unity and then we'll go terrain in fact go back before we do flip it back otherwise you get an error so edit transform flip vertical and then save it otherwise it'll be backwards and you'll be like why so flip it vertically there we go so we can click it and stop so i'm going to go terrain import height map and i'm going to click city terrain i'm going to set as no normal and just click import so as you can see we now have a perfectly even thing so it looks quite nice except this bit here which is horrifically gone wrong but we have our jagged edges which we can just rough down and um, smooth down and everything so we're going to go to our smooth tool select it and i actually want to smooth everything down otherwise it'll be too jagged everywhere so i'm just going to come in and you can tell which bits you've done because they'll be faded gray otherwise so of course those hills there look absolutely horrible and i shouldn't have done it hey it's what we do so this bit perfectly lines up as you can see so we'll be able to drive straight across it and I, might, I think I'm actually going to get rid of these hills because that just looks awful so I'm going to come in with the paintbrush select one of them and then make them all even just so we've got a kind of hill thing going on there and then we'll bring it around here but then I'll make everything else thin so I'll just paint on top of it like that and then what we can do is come around and smooth it after Neat. smooth it down and then that'll be done for all I'm going to do to it and then what we can eventually do is add roads to it and everything I do have road models they're just not the best you could think of they do look nice and everything the only issue is that they um, don't evenly match up so hey that'll do so yeah we've got somewhere to drive and put things now and we can also drive island across islands so I'm going to put the water back on, just because. As you can see, it does cover up the most of it. I think that'll do. We could f probably fade it out and make it neater around the edges on this one. But you could be spend you could spend hours or, well, hours and days making lands. Think how companies do it. So I'm going to come in and one final adjustment I'm going to do to it is get rid of this little patch here because I don't want it. In fact, I'll keep it. Just make it random. Why not? So, obviously 2000 is a bit big, it was a thing anyway, just a floor. So we can set it to 1500, still big, so we can try 800, 
the 800 is still massive, so we can just put it there and it'll be fine. Put it in the middle so you've got ages to fly, and that's it. So we're all good there. And you've got water, we'll eventually put some on the bottom so you can fly and everything, it'll work. So anyway, let's get back to it. So we need to start looking at the landscapes and see what we've got to move. So the first thing is the arcade machine. So I'm going to grab it with the move tool. So I'm going to grab the stuff and I'm just going to literally move them across to where they should be. Just as simple as that. So arcade machine can actually win, uh, where was it? Landscapes, yes. Coins, I'll stick in landscapes. Um, so I'll stick coins in, garages in, hoods and everything you'll need to leave where they are, otherwise you'll get an error. Well, you'll not get an error, it'll just not be there. Missions, mission scripts, I'll stick in wall, so that we won't lose them. And that should be it. So we'll call this one city floor. And... I'll drag landscapes across. Ooh, actually we might have found the perfect places for them. So the, the coastal one will want to be near the coast, obviously. So I'm going to grab the battery palace and I'm going to drag it over here and literally put it on the corner. Just like so. Uh, hey, that works. So we've now got somewhere to look. We'll obviously put ladders or something there in the future. Uh, what's this look like? We could put all these down. The house of the cabin has got to be northwest of here, so I'm going to move the wall down a bit. Uh, God knows. Oh yeah, it's because of things up there. So what I am going to do is select the cabin up here. I'll bring it down. It would a good tip for you is to actually make your game what you call it zero. Yeah, make your terrain at zero 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 axis. Whereas if you click ours, it's like a thousand three hundred and four hundred. It's not good. Um, it is good practice to actually do it in the middle because then it's so much easier to work with the numbers. So that's where the cabin's going to be. I'm going to put the wall down, and I've actually kept the wall in most of my games. I'm going to say it's like a signature of mine. Just just about that, that'll do. And just check where the bandits are just to make sure they're in the right place. So if we turn one of them on, as you can see, they're completely in the wrong place and the wrong height. So if we move them up a little bit, because they've got rigid bodies on, so they'll just fall. And then we can put them in front of the house like they're supposed to be. There. So you are technically supposed to do your land first before you start doing any missions or anything, because then you can work with it. But we didn't do it like that, because we're special. So, Tetch Building, I'm actually going to get rid of, because I'm not actually that fond of it, so I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to go into Models... Uh, buildings and delete it from here as well. I'm just not that fond of it really, I don't know why, but hey. So I can grab the space station which I never actually improved on, but hey. So we can grab it and we'll place this roughly near the back. So we'll place it there and I want this to be far back as possible. There. Hey, that'll work. Uh, we'll grab the garage and the advert booths so here, and I just want them to be roughly randomly scattered. So you can come in, grab them, bring them down. Got to make sure they're not too much through the floor, else you'll, it won't look right. So we can grab one of them, and I'll stick it over here, and we'll grab the next one, and we'll stick it over here, just so they've got some distance between them. The garage I'll do the same for, so I'll drag it down, and obviously this garage is terrible, it's not fully finished or anything, but hey, it's there. The temple I'm going to keep because I modelled that, okay. um, and we'll put it here, that'll do, yeah we'll just keep it there, that'll do. And um, what else do we have? We have this Hadouken. Um, ice ball thing, which I always forget. We'll go drag it down, get it so it's nearly going through the floor there, and then we can drag it up there. So that's in there. What others do we have? We have floating coins, 
which is not good. So we'll get a coin. So uh, that one. Make sure it's near the floor. And then what we can do is just set all the other coins' heights to the same. So we'll get the height of it, the Y. Select every other coin, except that one. And then set it to there. So now all the coins are accessible because they're all on this land. See, it works really well. So the last thing we've got in here is the arcade machine. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drag it all the way back over here. And I'm actually going to put it inside the temple. Yes, that's right. So instead of having fire or a door there, it's going to have an arcade machine. I don't know why. It, it, it just came to me and it's just like, yes, it's happening. So, there, so you play it inside the temple. I'm going to rotate it around. Yep. So there's the arcade machine. Is that everything? Oh, no, we've still got all the stuff over here, like vehicles and everything we've got to move. So we're going to grab all the vehicles here. And I'm going to bring them across because I want them to be over here. Just put them a little bit floating. They should automatically fall down. We've got the items, then the potions, then the other characters. So we'll grab our items and our potions and our NPCs. Drag them all the way across. We're not completely deserting that land. I just don't want that many people there. And just for time, I'm just going to literally there. That'll do it. So there's all the NPCs. Do we have anything else over here? We have our camera. We have our character. And I have no idea what the 50 floor is. So city floor. Stick that inside floor so it's together. And I think that's it. So we can try it. So we can click play. So we have our character. Everything should work fine and the same. So um, obviously we lost at the moment because I haven't got a clue where we're going. So if it's over here. Obviously we haven't put a light there either. So I'll speed this bit up while I'm crossing it. So we have a slight glitch there, but that's something we can fix in the future. And as you can see, we can just walk straight across to another island. So there's something floating there. I believe that's a coin, but hey, it's funny. So what I'm going to do is go into, go into this car so we can quickly explore things. Obviously if we fall through water at the moment, we're going to fall straight down, which is not what we want, but hey. So obviously I can't go into that car, apparently. And... Hey, I think that's pretty good. We've got everything. Everything should be working. So that's all we're going to do for this tutorial. Next time we're going to get back into programming and do something cool for it. I don't know what yet. So thank you for